Good morning. It's right at sunrise right now, I think. We got John. What time? 6.35. So we're right here at sunrise, as you can see. This is the Breckenridge, for those of you from there, it's so south of Breckenridge. It's a set of four, four teams over the course of about seven, or a little over seven miles. We got both the girls uh, ready to go. Um, you can either hike this, it's you can hike it forwards or backwards. There's a couple back tracks. Um, you can see we're kind of sitting in the bowl, uh, and, and it's up there around this trail edge from down here. Uh, John and I are going to take it the opposite direction because it seems a less traveled route. Um, the difficulty we're going to have here, based on our pace yesterday, because our weighted packs and everything else carrying guns, um, the reason we're going backwards is because we think we're increase our opportunity for seeing birds. Um, the bad news is that the thunderstorms are still scheduled to roll in. As far as you can see, um, we're up here with a lot of people still. Probably 15 cars, including a van. There's lots of people trying to knock out these peaks. Um, and, and we can't start until we can see um, what's flying. So uh, we had to start a little late. But we got the waters loaded up. John's got three liters. I've got three liters. Um, we're going to head up and try and hit. Uh, it is uh, Bros, but we're going to call it Bros. Um, Lincoln, Cameron, and Democrat. And there are um, private land in holdings on this or mining claims up here. So when we get to those mining claims, and you'll see us, uh, if you're watching us on live tracking, you're going to see us. Crack the guns open. Obviously, we aren't going to hunt on, on mining claims uh, or private property, so we're going to have to keep a pretty good watch on that. Uh, actually, when we get kind of above this first little bit of elevation where we could have bluegrass down here in the quakies or um, down by this water, um, once we get past that, we're really going to be more in ptarmigan country. And if we get to there, it's not ptarmigan season yet, but we'll hope that Rio can find us some birds. Maybe we can get some pictures. But we got to get on the trail because we got to get off this trail. Uh, by early afternoon, or we're going to be back in Thunderstorm Country. So uh, we're going to drop the gate, and here we go. You ready, man? You guys ready? Right, let's go. I had enough. We're headed up. Just thought I'd give you a little bit of view when we start getting some of the climb. Uh, you know, this is kind of a two part mission. This is John's second hunt ever. Um, and if we were not wanting to necessarily summon, we've got all these quakies out here. And surface water in this bowl would certainly be a good place to pick off some birds. Uh, there he is. Doing a good job up here covering ground. So we'll let her do the off trailing. Um, this trailhead starts at 12, and again, we're starting fairly heavy. So <laughs> it takes a while to get past that first initial push of your body telling you, don't do this. <laughs> uh, you get up here and you can kind of start seeing the separation. That being Democrat, Cameron, Lincoln's got to be there, Rose. Uh, so up we go. We're going to keep track of Rio. Watch her to go on point. Hyde is just wondering why we're delaying. Let's go, Hyde. Go.
taking this Lincoln group backwards. Or maybe even forwards too, but truth is backwards. So you got a mile and a half to bros. Um, and over that mile and a half, you've got 2,000 feet of vertical gain. So uh, it's steep here in the front end. And John and I are getting to convince ourselves that instead of hyperventilating when you get tired, take those deep breaths and try and refill that oxygen tank. So it's tough because you feel like you're working out. I mean, I'm checking my heart rate every now and then, which isn't that bad right now. So I'm coming back down, rest and heart rate, still doing good. Um, but yeah, you gotta convince yourself, deep breaths. Uh, we get the dogs to take a break too. See old Rhea frothed up. She's back here for water. John's gonna give her water. Rhea, go get it from John. She's like, no, I want it from you. Good. Because if she wants it from me, that's less weight on me. This is the heaviest we're gonna be all day. We got about eight pounds of water for the dogs and another mount for us. I had a, I had a. And that's part of the limiting factor. Um, the other thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna check her feet. Um, you can probably see we've got them wrapped. That's uh, what I call armored up. Uh, we try and keep her from uh, destroying her feet through this talus. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on this. She sees something over there. Smells something. It's going way off trail. Go ahead. It's coming back over that. We've knocked out the first thousand, a little bit more, which means that we've still got another thousand just to get to the top, or close to bros, wherever we can get. We won't be able to get to the top because it's blocked. Um, we're watching Rio pretty close because she's shredding her armor. Um, but I'm washing her pads, so the good news is, is there was some rain last night, and so it looks like there's a little bit of moisture down. Uh, which is helping her not get totally sanded off. We'll have to keep an eye on her and make a decision up here um, as to whether we go forward, backwards. Uh, but she looks okay for now. So uh, she is sucking down the water, though. Good thing about coming backwards. Uh, all the other people are kind of hiking up towards uh, Democrat, and. Uh, we're all alone up here, which has been kind of nice. So, away we go. What do you figure the grade is? 45 at least. Might be a little less according to that trail, but it's steep, steep. Yeah. I know a lot of guys out there treat their guns with kid gloves, but I can tell you in this particular scenario where you can fall off of this pretty easily and then 
arresting yourself is going to be very difficult because this stuff's going to slide out from under you. Um, we're using our guns as walking sticks. Uh, and that may sound criminal, but I can tell you what, it's better to have those things as a walking stick than it is, uh, I really found something up there, than it is to fall off this mountain. So we're going to keep going, but man, it's tough stuff right here, but we're getting there. Easy. Step on the path, Mitch. Come on. Up this way. Up this way. Good girl. Need to slow her down a little bit. Good girl. Taking a quick <coughs> break to refuel. Got some gummies. Hand. The sun is just breaking out. See it. That's uh, that's Democrat over there. It's cut off. Based on what we're seeing with Rio's feet, we'll probably take that cut off. Get on the line right here. And uh, all the way down there, there's where the truck's parked. Uh, so we got a little ways until we get. I'm sure it's called Bros, but because we're hiking it, we're calling it Bros. Have to cut off uh, go to another private property or uh, mining ways that they don't, we don't have access to. Uh, <coughs> uh, I can tell you there's a lot more BS in that than I'm sure it's just going to So, anyway, we'll just take a quick break, refuel, get a little hydration, and then uh, pass to a fresh hike up. Hike it the right way around. Get to start out with the headlamp, it gives you a better chance to get around this loop before you start. Uh, the problem is we can't do that because we're hunting mutes and we'll be able to see what's flying. So I haven't seen any birds yet. <laughs> Rio's been interested in some spots. But it doesn't, it, it actually up here in this really cool stuff called Let's Bird Enemy. I'm not entirely sure why this looks like it. Doesn't like there's much uh, sustain on the path that maybe as we move around. You see some of the lichen and green stuff on the on the uh, rock out there. I think that's probably a better a better solution for farming it. God, it's easy to like replace the system. Yeah, just like that. That's good. Oh, okay, she's moving again. Rio's got her first pretty serious point. I can tell. She's backlit right now, so it's hard to see her. her tail's wagging. Definitely has been a bird up there at some point. Can't guarantee when. She was locked down, but man, we're just getting crushed. She just kicked it into bird gear too. So. Not much need to load the shotgun though. Not gonna be bluegrass up here. Gonna be tarring it. Easy. Rio just gave up about 500 feet in elevation because she kicked it into bird gear. Easy, this way, nice and easy. And that stuff is loose and gnarly and uh, not good to run on. She's making it back up here nice and easy. Ida was a little bit wiser. She didn't leave the trail. This way. I think that'll be the last time she does that. <laughs> Unless she's real serious. That point she just had. And then she's actually like she's not there. Not there. Easy. Nice and easy. Get some water. Get some water. Get some water. Real. Okay, get some water. That was singing up. Uh oh, wide open now. What happened, Doug? 
pulled the fucker off. <laughs> I'm going to slip over. So we come to the fork in the trail. Double fork in the trail. Triple fork in the trail. Um, and it's why you bring a printed map with you. And John and I have looked at both the uh, in-reach Garmin uh, data and we've looked at our compasses and we've looked at the printed map and we're just trying to make sure that we don't make a mistake here. Uh, we've both got our guns open and unloaded. Uh, we believe that this is, well, we're very sure that this is uh, Bross. The summit would be up there. There is a trail there, a sign marker, but no sign notice. And uh, that's probably where that sign would have been that says, don't go here. Um, you're not allowed to summit up here uh, because uh, they've uh, blocked public access. So we're taking the high road off the spine of uh, Bross and uh, we'll go from there. But a really good example of why you have backups to backups to backups in uh, your navigation. Uh, we've looked at this map eight times in the last two days, trying to figure out a plan and whether we're gonna hike it frontwards or backwards or exactly what we're gonna do. And you get up here and it's still a little different, you know, uh, than what you're kind of used to seeing. Uh, you can see the trail though going out. We believe that's the continuing trail to Lincoln. And uh, uh, we think that's Cameron out there. So Cameron, then Lincoln out past and then the downhill trail that everybody took over here. So we think we've got that kind of uh, mapped out in our heads and uh, uh, it corresponds somewhat to the printed map and that's the good part. So uh, we'll keep hiking. We're still up here pretty close, now. top of the world stuff. So we'll keep going. Not exactly what you want to see up here on public land. Uh, yeah, right down. Not exactly uh, good uh, choice to drive this up here. Uh, yeah, and actually kind of sad to see it this way. Um, so we're going to turn away from that and look uh, about what's behind us and what we got coming. The dogs are looking at that as the ride down. Unfortunately, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna work for us, dogs. So here we go. Tiny ptarmigan don't need a whole lot. So if there's vegetation that they're eating here, uh, it's still, it's still melting. So anytime there's a little bit of pressure, you can see this is a pressure dry boot. It fills some water. Just yeah, certainly still could be birds up here. Maria thought she smelled a bird back that way. Uh, so she was on point back over there a little ways. Certainly could be up here. That, definitely end up more vegetation than what you see. Uh, all these kind of red uh, plants. And that's some kind of vegetation. I don't know what it is exactly. Looks like uh, a domesticated plant hens and chicks, but it's got a really pretty <coughs> little bloom on it. <coughs> so this is the saddle between uh, Cameron and Lincoln. We're double checking the map. This one wants more water. <laughs> out to Lincoln. Go I Easy Rio. I've got Rio on leash. Not because I don't think she could <coughs> be trusted out here. She's been in the mountains with Quest before, but um, her feet are pretty seem to be real motivated to go back in the slag, so that's a good bit of news. We're at our last little bit climbing up. 
this will be our farthest point today uh, from the trailhead. The tough part is getting her to slow down. Uh, she just wants to go down the middle. So, uh, we're out here. We've got a few other people out here with us. But uh, it's pretty for spectacular views up here. So. the top top blanket so everybody made it up here um, probably the only shotguns that people are going to see at the top of Lincoln anytime soon these 14ers aren't hunted very much. <laughs> There's probably reasons for that that I refuse to acknowledge. Um, you can see birds on the way up, but I've had a really good hike. And you can see it's an awesome view. Uh, dogs are hanging in there. We just got done hydrating and uh, adding some energy, energy bars. Ida has been picking on people, getting them to give her snacks. That's her new thing when we get to these peaks. And, we need to talk to people about why we're up here. I'm not sure the exact reason. <laughs> Other than it's because it's here. It's worth it, man. Um, yeah, you, uh, you probably wouldn't point your body and your gun up to 14 here and go, I'm gonna go fill a bag limit up there. <laughs> Uh, this is actually, it's time ring country. Rio had some points. I don't know if there were birds up early. Um, we didn't make it here first on the trail, so anything around the trails has probably already been bumped or moved on. Uh, we might get lucky on the way back down, but uh, it's been a good hike to this point, so we're going to get geared back up and go for it and uh, see if we can make it back down in one piece. This way, Rio. Come on. Might be sitting on it. Well, yeah. what do you say? I, you want a little bit more water? This is it for the uphill. I'm going to show you where we came from. get the 
dogs drink all the water up here so we're not carrying it downhill right down there you can probably see the parking lot that's where we got to get back to a couple miles all down if we had enough juice and the dogs had enough feet that's democrat over there for those of you who are inclined relatively good condition this hike uh, is definitely doable uh, to do all four uh, peaks uh, although we went around Roz, you can see out there that some people kind of miss the signage and uh, they're up in their feet. So all we've got to do now is get back down with the uh, bird dogs intact. So that's the goal. Uh, but what a beautiful hike up here. What a beautiful piece of public land. If you aren't out here doing something on public land, you're missing out. This is your land. Get outside. our first shotgun scout. Uh, obviously a guy not really happy with us being here. Not willing to ask any questions. He doesn't want to engage us and that's okay. He's got every right to do that if we mind our own business in that case. But, uh, we kind of wish they would engage and uh, actually ask a question uh, so that you can you know, tell them exactly what it was you're doing out here. But I'm not sure Okay. Uh, storms are building out here. Don and I are making good progress coming down. I still think there's going to be a thunderstorm this afternoon. Um, so I'm glad we're on our way down. I'm definitely glad we're not going up the track. parking lot and it's a good thing because as you can see 
comes at you fast with the weather. I've already heard the thunder. And uh, the last thing you want to do is be on that mountain when it comes apart. have heart. Ida's pretty wet, but Rio's had three days of rest, so she's still moving. She's torn up really good. Two days in a row, finishing with hail. Um, I'm taking Rio's armor off right now. Stay. Okay. So I'm under the truck cap. Gotta get her, her armor peeled. Stay back. Uh, it's a little bit nicer hail than yesterday, and by nicer I mean not nice. Hey, quick, 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 quick. So, let's just see what I'm doing here. We got to. Uh, Got her supplemental wraps on. Trying to find a cover. Trying to uh, just put these in the sleeves for now. Yeah, go ahead. Put those in. John, John's gonna put the guns away. I'm trying to get her wraps off. Stay. All right. I'm not going to fight the weather and this and you. This is the end of this episode. Certainly appreciate you. Uh, subscribe, tune in for more. The hail just gets bigger. Uh, <laughs> it's pounding down right now. Um, I guess what I say is that. Uh, ouch, is what I'd say. Two size hail. Uh, you're on the mountain now, you're not liking it. Uh, get invested in wild places for sure. Doug, talk in. You got last words? <laughs> Pay attention to the storms, <laughs> uh, Get invested in wild places, wildlife, uh, upland birds are the ultimate underdog. If you want to learn more about them, Make sure you follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Ultimate Upland all the time. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, and uh, yeah, time to get out of this hail. Ouch.